In today's video, we'll take a look at how to get the sum of all digits of a number. Now, I know this is a very common topic, but I've seen not many videos that actually explain this concept properly to a beginner. So this is my take on it. To start things off, well, we first have to define our numbers. So I'm going to say here int simple x equals, uh, let's say, the number 385. Right, so you want the sum of all digits of this number. So that would be 3 plus 8 plus 5. And that should be what? That should be 3 plus 8 is 11 and plus 5 it should be 16. Right, so the 16 uh, is what we want as an output. How can we get there? Now first we need to think about how to get a digit from a number, from a variable, right? So any digit, doesn't matter if it's from the start or from the end. If you're clever enough, you might figure out that, well, if you divide this number by 10, you're actually going to get some useful information. So if we do that, if you say 385 divided by 10, what is that going to give us? Well, that's going to give us the quotient 38 and the remainder 5, right? So that's, that's the result. And you'll notice that this 5 is actually our last digit. That is very important because then we can take this digit and sort of add it to the whole sum. How do we get the remainder of, a, of an operation like this? Well, we have the modulo operator for that. So we can say x modulo 10 to actually get that 5. So this operation will give us 5 here. So I can say here, let's say int uh, d1 for the digit, the first digit and store it inside the one. Okay, so that's fine dandy. We got the first digit, which is five from our number. How do we get the next uh, one? How do we get the next one? Well, again, we take a look at this operation. So this division by 10, it's actually very interesting that if you divide by 10 and you get not the remainder, but the quotient, you actually get the number itself, but without that last digit. That means that if you have 38, you can actually do the same operation that is that number modulo 10 to get the second to last digit our eight here right so here in d1 we're going to have five and then what we can do is say x equals x not modulo but divided by 10 now if you remember in c if you divide whole numbers you're going to get a whole number right and it is going to be that, that is going to be the quotient of that operation, right? So we're going to get actually 38 and not 38.5 inside our x variable here. So now x is 38. Very nice. We can actually repeat this operation now to get our 8 on the newer x. So we can say int d2 equals x percent 10. So that's going to get so it's going to get us what? Well, 38 divided by 10 is, well, 3 with remainder 8, right? So we got 8 inside D2. And we can repeat this operation again. We can say x equals x over 10. And that's going to give us, well, our 3, right? And since we have 3 here, we can either uh, do x modulo 10 again to just get 3 or we can simply add it to the total. What I'm going to do here is just say int d3 equals x, for example, because that's the last digit. And as, a, as an end result, what we have to do is simply add all these d1, d2, and d3. Right, so what we just do is say int sum equals d1 plus d2 plus d3. And then as a result, we can simply print it on the screen. So I can say print f percent d backslash n sum. And if I run this, we get 16 on the screen. So that works, right? We got 3 plus 8 plus 5, which is 16. Now, this is fine. This works for really any three digit number. But what if we have, for example, uh, 3851, right? What's the result of that? That should give us 17. But if we try to run it, we're going to get a very peculiar number that is 44. So it doesn't make, that's not the correct answer, right? So this, this algorithm only works for three digits. How can we make it so that it works for any number of digits? 
To do so, we're gonna need a, a while loop. So I'm gonna start here and start with a while loop, but I'm, I'm not gonna tell you the condition first. So we don't know the condition yet. We're not gonna talk about it yet. But as you might notice, we're actually doing something very repetitive in nature. First, we're doing the modulo operator, right? So we get, we do X modulo 10, then we just divide the number by 10, right? And as you can see, we're doing this three times more or less, almost three times. This is actually just uh, once we ha once once we got the last digit. So what we can do is do this operation in a while loop and stop at a certain condition. So we can say here int d equals x modulo ten. So that's going to give us our last digit, and then. We can say x equals x over 10. So, and that's gonna uh, basically remove the last digit from the number so that the next last digit is going to be the second last digit and so on and the third and so on and so forth. That's nice. And lastly, we want to actually add it to the sum. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here is say int sum equals zero and add to it right here. So I'm gonna say sum plus equal plus equals D here. Okay. Now the question is, what's the, what's the stop condition for any number that we keep on doing this to? Well, you might notice that we keep on dividing this number by 10. So we first get, so at the beginning it's 385, then it's 38, then it's three. We get the last digit of three, which is still three. And then once we divide it by 10, so, three divided by 10 is its quotient is zero, right? And once it's zero, we can just exit out of the while loop. So we can just say here, while X is higher than zero, right? So if it's higher than zero, you can do that. If it's not, then you can exit and print out our sum here. We didn't hit here zero simply because I said D3 equals X directly, but what you could do since X here is three, we can say X percent or modulo 10, that would still give us three inside D3 because three divided by 10 gives us what? Gives us the quotient zero, as I said here, but gives us the remainder three. So we still get three here. And then we can just simply divide this again by 10. And this will actually set X to be zero because three divided by 10 is zero. It's quotient is zero. So uh, at the end here, we're gonna do this same operation as we do up here, but for as many digits as we need. So if I comment this out and uh, run this code here, you'll notice we still get 16, right? So the so the, now, the sum of all its digits is still 16, but if we, add a, if we add a one here and run it again, you'll notice I get 17, right? And if I add another one, for example, I'm gonna get 18 and so on and so forth. This can also be made into a function if you are used to them. So what we can do here is say int sum of digits of some number, let's say n, and we can just copy paste this whole code right in here. And the only difference is that we're gonna have to change X with N because this is what we're using up here. So this is gonna be our N, our N, our N, our N here. And then at the end, we're gonna have to return our sum here. All right, so then I can say, instead of sum, I can just say uh, sum of digits of X. And that would result into the same exact thing. So if I run this, I'm gonna still get 18 because, well, three plus eight plus five is 16, plus one and plus one is 18. And this is pretty much it. I hope you understood what's going on. You're just basically dividing by 10 and getting the quotient or the remainder based on what step we're on. So I've seen this question really asked a lot and not answered properly. And people were very confused about how to actually do it. I hope this uh, is a better explanation and this has helped you. 
If you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.